absolutely living for this hoodie. <laughs> YouTube channel thank you so much if you've entered the giveaway already and if you haven't entered the giveaway it is still running so make sure you go check out that video and go check out my Instagram Lucy Appleton 21 on the post and how to enter but welcome back to my channel I hope you're all okay um today I am going to do what I've been promising for so long but I've just been waiting for the AliExpress order to come it takes ages but I'm finally going to show you my designer dupes video so if you like me just a normal girl who can't afford all these designer things but you do still want to you know like do indulge and just like have a have something that you just feel like looks designer so I've got all the different dupes and some like aren't necessarily like designer clothing or bags but they're like the hair ones and things like that you don't have to be going out and buying like Molly Mays for all that money you can just get one off eBay for 12 quid and it works just as well so I am going to be talking through my dupes with you showing you them and yeah I hope this just helps you save a little bit of money because you just We've got, we've got to be buying our holidays this year. Do you know what I mean? We need to be saving money where we can, but still looking good. So the first one I'm going to show, talk to you about is designer bags. Um, now, these have been on my Instagram and my TikTok, and a lot of people are like, oh, where'd you get your bag from? And I'm not going to lie to you all. That it's from a really good Instagram page called Rich Chick. Um, I've never had a problem with them. The delivery is really good. The customer service is really good. The first bag I'm going to show you, and I'll put up, a little like clip of me with the bag is this Balenciaga one I absolutely love this the strap comes really nice it's adjustable you can adjust it how you want you get two compartments I've had this now um, for over six months there's not a single mark on it I've been looking after it but it's actually really really good leather um, so yeah I think these they sell these bags at around £50 so obviously like 10 million times cheaper than what the actual bag would cost um but yeah i absolutely love this one i feel like this is my go-to little black bag now so i just feel like no one would like walk up to me in the street they can think it's fake or they can think it's real i don't really mind what people think but i feel good i think it looks good and i haven't broke the bag to get it so this is like my first dupe that i just think it's just my little baby. Okay, I have another bag from Rich Chick as well. And I know a lot of people do question me on this, like, so you promote, obviously, like, fake things. And it's not that I promote it. And, of course, if I had the money, I'd be buying the real thing. It's not that I don't appreciate the designer's work and all of that, because I really do. But it's just your everyday girl, like me and you, that can't afford it. But, you know, would want to have something that, like, looks like it or represents it. So... That's why I do just say, you know what, we're real. We can't afford, like, we can't afford it. It is only made for people that can't afford it. So if something of good quality, at, you know, like, it, and it's fake, is being offered to you at a good price, I don't necessarily think you're a bad person for, you know, indulging and treating yourself. This is the next one. Again, off Rich Trick. I think this one's about £50 as well. I absolutely love this Christine Dior bag. Obviously, I love the real, I love the real one. But I absolutely love this it's very textured um again you can adjust the strap it sits really nicely i just think like with these bags they just feel really good quality and they don't feel necessarily like it's an obvious fake i have literally like, when i went traveling in thailand i have literally touched and feel so many fake bags and you really can tell the difference between a really good quality fake bag and like a really bad quality one so the thing why i love about rich chick is that they're just like really really good quality like probably better quality than if i was just buying a bag from pretty little thing or something so even though it's obviously a fake bag it's a good quality bag if that's making sense it's just that the design has been copied so um i really love these bags i stand by buying them and if anyone asks me i would 100 percent say you know what it's fake this is where i get it from um, because I'm not here to fake it. I'm here to just be real. Okay, now, if you've come here from a TikTok, you will have seen that I ordered an Essentials hoodie and two, like, fake poly dresses from, um, AliExpress. Now, this is why the video has taken so long to film, because I ordered them back in January. I got the, I think I got the Essentials hoodie, like, two weeks ago, and the poly dresses last week, so finally got them. I've done a little video of me and each item to show you, but I will just show you the items. At absolutely living for this hoodie the color i just think they got spot on 
it fits really well as well. I think when I read the reviews, I will leave in the description as well like what who the buyer was that I got them off because I know some buyers can be a bit dodgy on AliExpress. But I always, I just read the reviews, so I got the medium. Now I, part of me wishes I got the large, but I didn't want to like wait all this time to get it, not be able to return it, and it just fit too big. I actually think it fits me perfect for a hoodie. If anything, I would have just wanted it to be a tiny little bit bigger, but I think if I'd have got the large, it would have been too big. But because the only thing is, I feel like it is quite tight when you're putting it on. The, the head hole is big enough, but if you're some, like, I made the mistake of wanting to put it on after my makeup, and I feel like if you have done your hair and your makeup, it is just a bit tight. Um, but it's actually fine. I'm just like being very pedantic about that. But I'm actually so in love with it. The quality feels amazing. I think I paid £20 for this. And obviously the real ones are like oh, £90, £100. The pocket size is amazing as well. The letters, I think if you got up close and had a feel of the letters, you would know it was fake. But just from looking at me, I think this literally looks like the real thing. I think the letters, I'm not sure how they will go when I wash the hoodie. Like they're obviously stuck on, um, so I'm not sure how it'll go when I wash it, but I'll keep you all updated. But I'm, at the minute, I'm absolutely loving it. And if you're someone that's wanting to look like, like have this vibe and aesthetic of the essential hoodie, and you can't afford the real one, AliExpress do them for twenty pounds. I think it ranged from like fifteen to thirty pounds. But obviously, I like I looked for ages to like get a good seller, one with good reviews. And I think I, this was twenty pounds. This one, but I'm absolutely in love with it, and it's so soft and really good quality. Okay, I think this is like the one I was most excited for. This is like the Molly May O Polly dress. We've all seen her in it. I think we've seen so many models and influencers in this dress. And I was just like, I really wanted it from Opoly. And I think I said to myself when I was ordering these, if it comes and it looks good and it feels good, I might actually then treat myself to an Opoly one. Because uh, the reason I've never ordered from Opoly is because, like, you always see the girls and they ha their boobs are up here. And it's like, well, they obviously have fake boobs because my boobs would literally sit down here. Now, I put this on without a bra and honestly, it did nothing. Now, the, like... These bits though, it's not underwired. I don't know whether O Poly is actually underwired and it does push your boobs up, but I think this fits like amazing. I put a strapless bra on with it, it lifted my boobs up a little bit. It really, really just literally makes your waist feel so tiny. I love the ruching. I knew I would love this dress because it's the type of dress I would order anyway. And I think I got this for maybe like a tenner, like ten pounds, and it fits so nicely. The quality um, I would give the quality like 70% if I was rating it out of 100. The only thing is the quality of like the boob bits. I feel like an Opoly one would be more structured. But apart from that, the quality is amazing. Really thick, um, obviously not, not see-through but wear nude underwear. Um, so yeah, I'm really liking this. Um, I don't know whether it's encouraging me to buy a real Opoly one just because I feel like I don't have the boobs for this dress like but definitely with like the bra I feel like I pulled it off so I would definitely order like more dresses from AliExpress like this to give them a go and really find like which one suits me the most from like maybe like the Opoly collection then maybe treat myself to an Opoly one but if you can get them for like a tenner the only thing is obviously if you know you've got a wedding in September order it now because with AliExpress you never know when it's going to come but I absolutely love this. This as well actually I said I was most excited for that one but I have been you know that black mesh dress with like, and from the back you can just see like the pant line and it's all like ribbed and ruched and I've seen so many people wear this on Instagram and I was just like, I need to try this, I need to try it. Again, the boob situation, I could not not wear a bra with it, it's not very structured or supportive, I don't know whether obviously Opoly is, but everything else about it fits really nice, the quality's nice, again I read the reviews and they were getting good reviews. Um, I don't, honestly have nothing really bad to say about it, it's just the boob situation which again is why I've never actually ordered an Opoly one. Um, so maybe if you guys have ordered from Opoly you can maybe tell me about the boob situation and like are they really structured, do they let your boobs like sit and stand up or is it a case of no you need fake boobs because I don't really know but again this one was around £10 maybe even £7, I'll leave the actual how much I paid and the links I'm just going off memory right now in the description but I just think you can't go wrong, like when you're paying that, like 7 to £10 for a dress that 
you will wear going out, like you can't go wrong. So whereas if I'd have paid £50 on a poly and it came and I felt rubbish, I would have felt bad about it. So that's another amazing dupe that I've found. Okay, so if you follow me on TikTok, you know that I absolutely love my three barrel curling wand. Now I actually, this was a TikTok find. So a girl put this on her TikTok last August and I just saw the video and had to buy it because I was wanting a three wand mermaid curler for so long. Everyone was saying, get the Molly May Beauty Works one, but they're like 80 pounds. This I got for 15 pounds on eBay, but they actually do sell them ranging from 12 pound to 20 pound. I think that's just different sellers. So you could actually get it for 12 pound if you wanted, but I just read reviews and found that this one was like seemed legit um, and the delivery is so good on these I f it obviously comes from China I'm assuming but it literally takes like two days to come so I don't actually know where they're coming from but it's so cheap you have your different heat settings I put up some pictures to show you like how good it actually works so it just proves you don't need to go and break the bank to get like a good product so this is literally just off eBay if you type in three three barrel wand curler or whatever I'll leave the links below but this is honestly just been my lifesaver and now every time I curl or wave my hair I use this and it was so cheap so you really don't need to go on beauty works and buy like a really expensive one okay last but not least is this hair dryer from glamorizer now we all want a Dyson air wrap of course we do and like it's all suction this isn't exactly necessarily like a, a dupe of um, the air wrap it's its own design but this is only 150 pounds you get like the three compartments with it they're magnetic as well so it's so easy to just attach them you can like dry your hair without it or add one really easily so it comes with obviously the three different like styling uh, wand elements but this is honestly the best hair dryer I've ever 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 owned it's from glamorizer it's just so lightweight it's like air suction rather than like really like hot air that's just it just feels like it's doing so much better for my hair than just like your average hair dryer um and obviously a Dyson air wrap for all the little bits is what like 500 600 pound this is 150 pound all in it's super lightweight super speedy I literally like dry my hair so quickly with this hair dryer I just feel like it deserved a little shout out because I know everyone was obviously wanting like the Dyson air wrap but this is actually just such a good alternative um for you know more than over half the price so definitely worth a shout out in this video that's all my dupes guys i hope you've enjoyed it i really hope i haven't offended anyone by talking about dupes i just feel like you know every little helps we can all help each other out it's just like when you find like a really good like different cheaper product to so you don't have to buy the expensive one all the time i'm not saying you have to go out and buy dupes all the time but i have had a lot of people asking me about the different things that i use and like is it as good as this is it as good as that so just thought let's put it all together in one video and show you guys so yeah i hope you've enjoyed that um thank you for watching and i will keep bringing out the videos for you i have got loads of different like fashion hauls hair tutorials hair routine skin routine loads of boyfriend challenges so yeah definitely go check out my channel and make sure you enter in that giveaway but thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video